Thank you. <laughs> you know, I met your sister, um, Judd and Leslie. Judd was doing some uh, writing on The Wedding Singer. Oh, yeah. And I met your sister when she was a baby. I know, I know. I you've mean, all just watched, you've watched us grow up. I mean, I like literally have felt like when I was growing up, people were like, oh, you look like a little Drew Barrymore. <gasps> so I started copying you for my whole life, which sounds creepy. No, but I, I literally you. have <laughs> like copied like even this. This is like your niche like dark hair from the '90s, and I was like, yeah, I'll do that one too. <laughs> like, you know what? We actually pulled a couple images. Look yes. at us hair twinning right there. Yeah. There's one. Oh my goodness. I love this. God, you're so stunning. There's another. <laughs> oh look at us. It's. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, your sister um, has really, like, come into the forefront um, in Euphoria. Like, I'm, I'm like, oh, my God, I feel like the entire show is becoming about her. I know. It's um, so exciting. And that's such a style trendsetter. I mean, can yeah, you believe totally. the influence that oh, the show yeah. has had on hair, makeup, wardrobe, all of it. Oh yeah, I'm like immediately when it came out, I remember like me and my friends would put like gems all over our eyes before parties and like it changed everything, which is so cool and it's I remember like my, my sister would call me from her trailer, I would screenshot every look just to like copy it <laughs> before it came out to make me look original. But look, it's called <laughs> inspo for a reason. Exactly. But do you like the show? I love the show. That's like my favorite show. Me and my friends like do watch parties for every weekend. You do? Or when it was out, we did. Yeah, we were, oh my God. You mean like best. you and your bestie, Olivia Rodrigo? No. <laughs> 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 Um, okay, what do I need to know about Olivia Rodrigo through what? her best friend's eyes? Teach um, me. Well, we, well, we live together, so we do. <laughs> okay, this must be the coolest house in all of the yes, planet. We have Sex in the City movie night. I mean, it just makes me happy. It's like one of those things. I also loved the reboot. I, I, was, I loved it. I wish, I hope it comes back for a season two. I hope it does too. I miss Kim Cattrall. Bring her you back. Too. It's so sad that she's I, not on it. I, what are the odds of her coming back? She's coming back. They're, they can't hide it from us. I know she's coming back. I want it. Let's go on a campaign. Come I know. On, Kim Cattrall. We'll do a petition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you have this lovely boyfriend. You're out there in the world, um, Ryder Robinson, yeah. um, who is just so delightful and charming. <laughs> what are you guys up to? How's that going? And. Um, Oh, just, I'm so excited. Um, it's going very well. We have been together for a while, and he's just, like, been such, like, a lovely angel in my life. It's uh, very refreshing when you grow up in high school and just, like, dating around. Like, I, I had my fair share of weirdos, so it's nice to come to somebody that just wants you to be happy and, like, you know, seeing what can be healthy is really nice, very, very refreshing, and he makes me very happy. I oh, love him a lot. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. I'm so happy. Your parents have been such couple goals to all of us. Yeah, no, I think they're very, like, much so, like, what I look for in my love life because they'll just sit together for, like, four hours just talking, and I'm like, wow, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> it's ni like, it's nice to see that, like, after however many years, 25 or something, they can still, you know, make each other laugh that hard and be, like, best friends with each other. That, that is the example. Yeah, that's... That is the goal. That's what I look, like, look, look for, I guess. When you're a teenager or a full-blown grown-up, <laughs> we could just be nice to each other. Exactly. And... So tell me about the bubble. This is another family affair, courtesy yes. of the Apatows. Yes, um, the bubble follows some actors shooting a movie. In, in a bubble. In a bubble in London. So they basically like live in this beautiful like English countryside castle and are like having people serve them. And they're just kind of 
self-centered and like <laughs> bratty, I guess is the <laughs> word. They're just like, it's, you know, how it could, everything that could go wrong when making a movie during, you know, lockdown. And I think that's what makes it kind of silly because there's, there's humor to be found in that and, you know, isolation, but um, mostly just because of their behavior and how it's so bad. <laughs>